hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Jody here thank you so much for clicking on another video if you're new welcome to the fam bam if you're not new thank you thank you thank you so much for coming back so this is just another bomb look here and I know you guys would love this one so um, I'm doing a bridal look here on one of my very good friends um, so as usual I started off by cleaning off the face I used some micellar water on a cotton round to clean the face so if you um, are interested to see more stay tuned don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified the next time I upload so here I'm just prepping her skin for makeup um, she did have dry skin so I used um, something um, a little bit more moisturizing with a little bit of glow I used um, the new Milani glow serum um, and I you know rub that in all over her face just to give her a nice glow under her makeup Here we go. I also made sure to take that down onto the neck as I'm also gonna apply some foundation to the neck As usual, I'm starting off with the brow, so I went in with a brow pomade and I just um, followed her natural brow shape and um, filled in the brows. Alright guys, so I do apologize for the audio, it sounds like I am underwater, I am not sure what is going on with my laptop here, but it um, just seems to you know not be working like it normally does so please forgive the uh, voiceover on this video So after filling in the brows, I just went in and cleaned up the brows just a little bit. I went in with a MAC concealer, I believe it was in the shade NC25 or NC35. As you can see, it's significantly lighter than she is, but I definitely blended that out later on. So I'm still just cleaning up the brows. Um, as I keep mentioning in my videos, I am a stickler for brows. I like when my brows look almost perfect. So I do take my time whenever I am doing brows on a client. As you can see, she was feeling those brows, so I was very proud of um, how the brows came out. Here, I just went in with some NYX Eyebrow Gel just to set the brows in place. So I'm starting on the eyes now. Um, I'm starting by priming her eyes. Um, I used a NYX Eyeshadow Primer um, and just buff that on her lids before I apply any shadow.
so I'm just buffing this light brown color in the crease and this color comes from the uh, Dose of Colors De Desi Times Katie Frankation palette um, and this is the lightest brown in the palette called Necessary and I'm just buffing this all throughout the crease. So I went in with the medium tone brown from that same palette. I don't remember the name of it. Um, I believe it's called Churo and um, I use that on the outer V of the eye just to give it a little bit more depth and a little bit more smoke on the edges. So right now I'm just adding the darker of the three browns in the palette. Again, I'm just putting that on the outer V of the eye just to give it a little bit more depth and a little bit more smoke. Okay, so now time for the lid color. I went in with a rose gold eyeshadow from MAC. It is one of their single pot eyeshadows and this was in the color Sweet Heat. Now, um, this wasn't shimmery enough for, for my liking. It wasn't giving me what I wanted it to give. So on top of that, I went in with one of the Stila uh, liquid eyeshadows in the color Kitten Karma. Um, that had a little bit of glitter in it, um, not too much, and I went ahead and popped that on top of uh, that eyelid color, and that definitely bumped it up and gave it a little bit more, you know, pizzazz that I was looking for. So I went in and lined her lids, but in this case I didn't use the traditional uh, liquid or gel liner. I wanted to keep the liner just a little bit on the softer side, being that this is a brighter look and it's usually more of a soft, um, a soft look. So I went in with a black eyeshadow and I used that to um, line the lids and gave it um, a little bit of a wing. So after adding the eyeliner, I used that same black eyeshadow just to intensify the outer V of the look, just to give it, give it just a smidge more of a smoke on the end. And the black is from the Lorac Noir palette. That is what I used as the liner to intensify, as well as um, intensify the outer V of the eye. Now I'm just going in here, um, you know, going back with the lightest brown that I used before and just making sure that everything is properly blended. I went in with some mascara before lashes and um, just ran that through her lashes just to prep for the falsies. So I'm just applying the lashes and I wanted to use some somewhat natural lashes. So these are the Ardell Wispies. So I went in with a lash curler uh, to one, further curl the lashes and to make sure that her lashes were properly merged with the falsies 
you did you can't see it on camera but her lashes were very straight and they were poking out under the lashes all right so now time for the face here i am just color matching her um so i'm putting the color there on her jaw and um, blending it in to see if it matches and it most certainly did that was her just looking in the viewfinder to see um, if it matched um, before I go ahead and apply the foundation I went in and color corrected under her eyes as she had a little bit of uh, darkness under her eyes um, after I color corrected under her eyes I went ahead and um, applied the foundation and the foundation that I used was the um, Graftobian High Definition Foundation. So because the Graftobian foundation is a cream foundation, I um, had to use a spatula to pick up the product. So that's what I did there. I just wiped off the excess on her face and then started um, blending that in with a uh, foundation brush. Alright guys, so I would definitely appreciate if you would like, comment, share and subscribe if you're liking this video and hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever um, I upload a video. Alright, so I made sure to take that foundation down onto her neck and a little bit on her ears. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't put too much of that foundation under her under eyes because I am going to apply concealer. Now, the concealer that I applied was the MAC Concealer in the color NW35. Um, and I just placed that in all her um highlighted areas so under her eyes the bridge of her nose her chin her forehead and uh, just blended that out with a beauty blender So I'm going in now to set the under eye. I'm just um, blending out any creasing that I saw and I just pat the uh, setting powder in. Now this is a Laura Mercier uh, powder in the color Honey. I went ahead and I placed, patted that in under her under eye area as well as everywhere I had placed the highlight slash concealer. I'm going in now with bronzer uh, so this is the MAC mineralized skin finish in give me sun and I just went ahead and bronzed her up um, you know just to give her a, a little bit of color back to her face now I didn't want to contour her um, as I wanted to keep this look as soft as possible um, and sometimes contour can come off a little bit harsh so I went in with a bronzer and just bronzed, bronzed up her skin Alright, so now I am going in with another MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the color Medium Dark. 
and I'm just setting all the areas where I didn't put the Laura Mercier powder. So um, anywhere where I didn't powder, I'm just setting that with that MAC product. So I wanted to brighten up the under eyes just a little bit more so I went in with another matte mineralized skin finish and this was in light and this just gave some nice light um, lightness um, under the eyes. I went in with blush, this was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio and I just you know blushed up her skin to make her look nice and uh, alive and rosy and healthy. I went in with the Juvia's Place uh, bronzer palette in the color dark and I just wanted to intensify that uh, bronzer just a little bit more just to give her a little bit more of a sun glow look. All right, now it's time for highlight. So I went in with the J Cat highlight, and I was just telling her to turn to the left, and I placed that highlight on the high parts of her face, so on her jawbone, under her brow bone, uh, the bridge of her nose, a little bit on her forehead, chin, and cupid's bow. And this is gonna give her just a nice, beautiful lit, lit from within glow. So I'm just finishing off the eyes. Um, I went in with that lightest col brown color from the Dose of Color palette and I'm just, you know, smudging that under her lower lash line and I went in with the second darkest brown in that palette and just um, smudged that under her lash line as well. Um, unfortunately, the clip of me applying the lip liner um, seems to have not been recorded, so I used the MAC cork liner to line her lips and I now went in with the Velvet Teddy as the lip color. Nice beautiful nude. Alright, so I applied some um, mascara to her lower lash line off camera and that definitely just helped to, you know, define uh, the lower lashes. Alright, so I'm just going in here with a lip brush just to perfect the uh, lip color, um, you know, and make that as neat as possible. And, um, you know, that was essentially the end of the look she was feeling herself that's why she was looking into the camera so she was just fixing her hair so initially we were gonna go with the short hair so I'm just you know fluffing out the curls as you can see here and then I went ahead and um, placed my tiara on her head and this is what I actually used on my wedding day so here are some pictures of the final look and just to you know give it a little bit more sass I went ahead and threw on a wig and that was the final look and I much preferred it with the wig so um, see you in the next video guys bye